Well, I'm joined by Peter Glantz here in the studio, a gentleman over from the United States and uh, a director, a writer, producer of films. And you've got some interesting big, well, well, fast big budget for you, not so big, but yes. it's still in the millions yes. coming up. And you're on the Isle of Man doing a recce at the moment because potentially you've got your eye on here for one of your projects, but it's not definite, we have to say at this moment. So I thought it's great to get hold of you, you know, just to get the view of a Hollywood guy coming here. What's good about the Isle of Man first? Let's, let's start with that. What, what, what's taken well, your fancy? Well, my family is from here, and I, I came here a lot in my youth, and I have a lot of nostalgia for the island. And there's just such a, a uniqueness and a beauty to the island. And as you drive from north to Douglas to Peel Castle to Solby Reservoir to everywhere, and it really, um, it has a magic to it that I feel like you obviously can't find many places and it's completely antithetical to Los Angeles where I'm from and <laughs> it was perfect for, it's a period piece, it's set in the 60s, it's got a little oh. classic British espionage, it's got a lot of interesting elements and the island and its isolation kind of adds to the, to the mystique of kind of the storytelling. But you could film it here, you could film it, uh, I suppose like Ireland always got great incentives still haven't they as well. We're, we're battling a, a lot between that. Do you find that you, you, you've got the choices to go different places? I mean, that's the main struggle is I want to film it here. I wrote it for here. It feels like it should be oh, you've here. You've actually written it for here. Really, Excellent. you know, almost reverse engineered a script and a story to really fit the, you know, these beautiful places of my youth. And though I sound like a Yankee. <laughs> and, um, uh, but Ireland right now has just incredible tax incentives you know, mm. this guy Yorgos, a friend, uh, he did this movie The Lobster, which was amazing, was shot there, and um, it, yeah, it's, it's really tough. It's a push okay. and pull, but um, I think we're going to be able to make it work here. It's, okay. I'm trying everything in my abilities. It, it is all about this thing, isn't it, of the funding, and, and it, getting stuff here is going to be more expensive, I guess, than if, if you go on, but... Uh, there's an infrastructure there, so there's some tax incentives there, but at the same time, um, there's a lot of benefits to here, and like anything, it's just... Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a miracle any movie gets made, it's a miracle when a good one gets made, and um, it's just about casting, scheduling, and of course financing yeah. is, the, is the house of cards behind so everything. you've got a budget in, in the millions of dollars on this, have you? Yeah, a couple. It's, I have another one going next year that's higher, five, six, and this one's in the yeah one to two range, kind of. It's a little that's bit more cool. manageable. Well, obviously, we just had the success of Mindhorn. I don't know if you had a chance to see that one. Brilliant. Do you Brilliant. like it? <laughs> Brilliant. Mighty Boosh, Coogan, all of them are just, I mean, the funniest. It was, and I love uh, Andrea Risborough. She's she's brilliant. Everyone in it was brilliant. And um, Manx Television are great. Not quite the same setup for us. <laughs> it? it really, I think it romanticized the island. I thought yeah. it was actually, they picked, miraculously, it's always a sunny day in that movie. I don't know how they did that, but. Uh, Would you all think do the same thing? I mean, you're saying it's be written for the Isle of Man. So even if it was in Ireland, would it still be the Isle of Man or would it all be transferred and it would therefore be Ireland? And the, the Isle of Man would lose out on a bit of promotion maybe? A little bit. I mean, I, I really want to embrace the island and, it's, and the specific places I was mentioning. And in my film, it's, it's not like Mindhorn. I imagine it's set completely in the fog, the, the Manx mist and all of that <laughs> is, for me, very cinematic and helps all of it. But yeah, if we were in Ireland, it would be... Um, set there. It would, I, yeah, so I we'd know. lose out. Oh. We'd, or we'd set in a a fictional version of an island, you know, we'd kind of create some in between. Okay, so we want this film. I think the Isle of Man would want this film, but... And I would want to make it here, yeah. The, the negotiations go on, and when will you know if you can do it here? Next um, few months? Or? Well, we're having a, a budget and schedule, one made for Ireland, one made for here, and as we kind of go through the casting process over the next couple of months, um, we'll start to kind of figure out what's the best, you know, model to make the film, okay. and um, hopefully we end up here. Any TV reporters in it? Any can we, you write one? We can maybe work oh. one in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, good luck, and uh, I'm, I'm sure we will. Fingers crossed. Uh, Fing see you. Knocking would, on wood. Would know. be filmed this year. When, when was the idea is to make it, um, and it's, as crazy as this sounds to a Manxman, uh, uh, in November, December. Because I have another film going in March, yeah, April, so I'm trying to squeeze this one. There's in a lot of dark and windy scenes required, then, is it? Exactly.